Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Jitin Benedict. Today, let us try to look into the different types of researches. We basically have a lot of different types of researches, but we'll focus on seven different types of research. Basically, applied, basic research, descriptive research, ethnographic research, experimental, historical and exploratory research. There is another section of mine where I would be discussing on qualitative and quantitative research in detail. So let's look into what is applied research. I think I would show you a small picture and from there I will take you to what is applied research. Now South Indians call this movie Manchitra Thada. They call it Chandra Mukhi, Aptamitra and in North India we have Bhul Bhulaya. This movie has taken hearts of many. And uh, what happens here? In this particular movie, what happens? Um, the protagonist, that is uh, Shobhana, she is having a disease called multiple personality or dual personality. And Dr. Sunny Mohanlal is trying to cure that. So that is exactly what applied research is. You may just go through the words in red. Applied research is used to find solution to day-to-day -day problems, cure illness, and develop innovative technologies. For example, applied research, the researchers may investigate ways to improve agricultural crop production, treat or cure a disease, improve the energy efficiency of homes, offices or modes of transport, etc. Here, you are trying to actually solve problems or make innovative ideas so that it basically helps the society, mankind, everything together. The second type of research is basic research. Now again, I'll go with the picture. The picture on top is actually a study on the coral reefs and the picture bottom is a depiction of Big Bang Theory. Now studying about coral reefs or studying about Big Bang Theory is not actual, at all like uh, the applied research where there is a problem and you're trying to solve it. Now you do a study on coral reefs or when you try to understand about the Big Bang Theory, you are indirectly trying to expand man's knowledge. So that is what basic research is. Basic research, it's also called fundamental or pure research. It is driven by scientist curiosity or interest in a scientific question. Here the main motivation is to expand man's knowledge, not to create or invent anything. Now the questions like how universe began, what are protons, neutrons, electrons composed of, what are the specific genetic codes of fruit fly. Now these could be researches that come under the parlance of basic research, expanding man's knowledge. Next is descriptive research. A research that is done in detail, in description is what is known as descriptive research. Most of the social science researches are descriptive researches. For example, um, a study that is done on female um, shopping habits, a study that is done on fester powering. What is fester powering? When children um, fester the, uh, the adults when they go to a shop saying that mama mama I need that particular chocolate. That is fester powering. A study on that, the characteristic traits so what is descriptive research? It refers to the research that provides an accurate portrayal of the characteristics of a particular individual situation or group. So it is a characteristic study in detail. It's a depth in depth study. Now studies like, you know, mean, finding a new meaning, describing what exists, determining the frequency within which something occurs. Um, all these are categorization of information. Okay. So, in short, the descriptive de research deals with everything that can be counted and studied which has an impact of the lives of the people dealing with it. Now, uh, a particular example in short which I have quoted was finding the most frequent disease that affects the children of a town. The reader of the research will know what to do to prevent that disease thus more people will have a healthy life. So this could be one particular example of descriptive research. Next type of research is ethnographic research. Now what if you want to understand about the characteristics or the behavior or the habits of aborigines of Africa? 
or Jaravas of Lakshadweep. Now these are ethnic groups. Now doesn't um, it, it doesn't make sense like you know you go to them and you fix an interview with them or give an, uh, give your questionnaire to them and ask them to find it. It will all prove futile. So in this particular case. Uh, you will have to go and be with them. So, ethnographic research refers to the investigation of a culture through an in-depth study of the members of uh, of the culture of the members of the culture. It might involve systematic collection, description, and analysis of data for development of theories of cultural behavior. Now, in these studies, you have to study about the ethnic groups. You have to be with them. You have to understand how they behave with uh, the flora, fauna, and everything. So the basic problem here is this is a highly risky research. You have to stake your life. Maybe the researchers have to stake their life for this, and it take pretty long time for collection of data. And uh, maybe the purpose of ethnographic research is to attempt to understand what is happening naturally in the setting and to interpret the data gathered to see what implications could be formed of the data. Now, very beautiful pictures that depicts ethnographic research will give you a small understanding of how how difficult this can prove to be. A lot of researchers have lost their life while doing this research. Experimental research in social science has a little different meaning. Now, normally, experimental research we usually think that it is a research that is done in laboratory. But in social sciences, I would rather say that. Any research that is done in closed setting with um, with controlled uh, dependent independent variables that would be called as an experimental research. I'll tell you a small research that myself and my professor had done uh, little years back, a few years back. We had taken a store and we tried to understand three variables. You know, first one was um, whether the salesman, if he is very active, will that increase sales. Along with that, we want to understand if we put a light music, will that increase sales? Third, we would like to understand if both these are working together. So we took a month where there were no offers, anything, so the fruit fall was steady, and we made sure that uh, people um, were walking in casually. We first of all made, uh, put a light music, and we checked for one month as how the response was. But at that time, the salesperson was normal. He was not very proactive. Second month, the, uh, the light music was off, but uh, the salesman was very active, proactive. Whenever people come in, he, he was behaving you know, very courteously. Third month, light music as well as very amicable, uh, very friendly, courteous, uh, proactive salesperson. And we try to understand how the response was. So you could see here, experimental research is objective, systematic, controlled investigation for the purpose of predicting and controlling phenomenon and examining probability and causality among selected variables. Now, let's try to understand what is exploratory research. To make it much simple, I would rather say exploratory research is like opening a, a gift or a presentation. You are opening and exploring as what is written there. In some books, you understand that exploratory research is something that is done for the first time. But in some other authors, they say that exploratory research is a peripheral research that is done to understand what is there that is happening, which could further lead to descriptive or causal researches. So in short, it is a type of research conducted for a problem that has not been clearly defined. Exploratory research helps to determine the best research design, data collection method, and selection of subjects. Now we will try to understand the last research that is historical research. Now historical research is something very simple to understand. This picture gives you a little bit clarity as what is historical research. It is a research that has involved the analysis of events that occurred in the remote or recent past. Now it could be something about the paleontological researches, or it could be something about the patterns. It could be something uh, where you can add perspectives on how we can examine current events and educational practices. So I hope with this, you got an idea as what are the different types of researches. 
I have one more video that is coming up as a sequel to this that is the difference between qualitative and quantitative researches. So with this, I hope you got a clear picture of uh, types of researches. Thank you very much.